Biosignals. Now I will explain how to run the BS training for the first time and how to use the training software. As you know, we have three different apps for the PC and one app for Android. Let's start with this one, BS training. Double click. First login, we need to do registration with our own um, email address. So let's do it. Um, this is an example. And the email is only for this demonstration. And I will click OK to verify that this is a registered product. As a result, immediately I can see on the screen all the signals that arrived from the hardware. Blood volume pulse, this is the heart sensor. GSR is the two electrodes. Temperature is temperature sensor. Respiration is respiration belt. And blood pressure these are the four sensors and the blood pressure. I can check the quality of the signals before I'm doing any kind of training. For example, right now I will move the breathing belt. As you can see, this signal is from the breathing belt. Now I will check the temperature, the black line. I will touch the sensor and you can see how the temperature goes up. And the green one is the GSR. I will make the GSR higher and it goes up. These waves are from the heart sensor. And this one is from the heart sensor also but different signal. This is the blood pressure. So all the signals are okay. Now, if I would like to do a training, first of all, I must add a customer. I will click here on this button, add a person. Let's say the name is David for this example. So, okay. Okay, we have David. Now we can start doing the training. I will click on Start Session. Then I will choose the name of the customer and I will click OK. At this moment, I already start to record and to read signals from the hardware as a training and I have a selection screen. In the selection screen, the training selection screen, I will click on English system. Now I can see that I have different buttons for each one of the different trainings. If I would like to do HRV, heart rate variability, I will click here. And then I will click the start button the inhale air through your nose. nose. The video to run. Now exhale air from your mouth. These uh, bars are the hardware variability analysis. What we can do, what we, what we can see is the low frequency relax level, high frequency stress level, Breathe and from very your low nose. frequency your we call it thoughts. Breathe this out from one, your mouth. The bar your with abdomen the name returns thought, back inside the body. Is the result of low frequency divided by high frequency. The mission of the training is to make the calm uh, bar as higher as possible. I can move. The from, mission is uh, not to breathe deeply. It's to breathe in a specific a and accurate time. We definitely don't need to breathe deeply. We need to breathe comfortably and feel that it's for example, easy for us. 
In this just Indian when the ground when the line goes down, fortune. the video the will play. When the line goes up, well, son, you're gonna the video will stop. So the video by the economic nerve system, the sympathetic system. The temper how to build a fire is a little bit different. When the line goes up, which means the temperature goes up, the sun will go up in the video. When the temperature goes down, the sun will go down. One to one ratio. Abdominal breathing, it's a very simple. Inhale air through your nose. A graph. When you breathe, now exhale air you can see your, your breath. Very simple. Waves, the breathing waves. Each one of the graphs will start to scroll to the left. Breathe After five your minutes, nose. your abdomen goes Till out. Then, Breathe out from your mouth. Here. Your abdomen returns back. Blood pressure is the same idea. When the blood pressure goes up, the video stop. When the blood pressure goes down, the video. Very simple. Okay. Meanwhile, we are of the trainings. Inhale air through your nose. We can also see all the graphs in real time air from your mouth. in the main application that reads all the signals from the hardware. As you can see, this was the time when I showed you the breathing. Okay? I can change the resolution. And also, I can select scrolling in or not nose. scrolling. Your abdomen goes if out. If not scrolling, breathe out of your mouth. Your abdomen the, returns back inside the body. will be full. It will start from scratch. But if I will cl click on scrolling, it will scroll all the time to the left. Mix mod will enable me to separate the lines from each other. The mission Look. is not to breathe deeply, now, it's to breathe in a specific and accurate timing. Area. We definitely don't need to breathe deeply. If I will we need to breathe correctly IDI, and feel that it's easy for us. I will be able to see the heart rate bars of each heartbeat. If I will click on event, I will be able to uh, mark events that influence my you need to purse training. your lips to control the amount of air flowing out. This should be any for a key period of, the keyboard. of 8 seconds. For example, I will click events. Now I will click on the B button. As you can see, I have here a gray area that something would happen and I click on the B key. Uh, All of your breaths in pose. and breaths out needs to be continuous, not stopping the air And I can up. resume the training. This is very simple. If I would like to see the HRV also Breathe here, in a steady stream I will of air here for four seconds. And I will see Breathe here the HRV. A steady stream of air analysis. through your pursed lips while your abdomen Different returns back colors. inside the body. The red is the sympathetic, green parasympathetic. The purple is thoughts. All of the air from your lungs goes out line during the eight rate. seconds. Regarding this, we will not go inside. It's overkilling. Fear While training level. You need to be in a situation that you don't have a level of too much or too little oxygen inside you. Great athlete. Okay. Um, let's return to the reading application and. Uh, as you can see, I can click on any button if I would like to see different sensor, blood volume pulse, GSR, temperature, respiration, blood pressure, and HRV. Okay, when I will click on stop, 
which means I finished my training. Okay, so I will, let's say I'm here. Indian 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 training. Training. I can close this and click stop. When I click stop, it will stop the training and will open a web page. After we finished the training, we will get automatically a report that summarize our training. Uh, don't be nervous. I know it looks very messy, but let's go one by one. I will just uh, delete or hide all the signals and let's go one by one. GSR. This is the GSR signal during the training. In our example, it was six minutes and 30 seconds. So we can see the GSR graph. We can also see the blood volume pulse. Uh, this is the raw signal. I will hide the GSR. This is the raw signal that we got from the sensor, from the heart sensor. If I will go and do some zoom in, you will be able to see that it's made of a lot of um, waves, heart waves, blood volume pulse waves. Okay, so if I would like, I can check the signals of this training. Uh, and let's go to the temperature. This is the signal from the temperature sensor. This is the heart rate. This is the heart rate. Um, and this uh, numbers as you know the real uh, heartbeat per second let's go to the next one blood pressure this is the blood pressure during the training and um, let's go to the this LF HF percentage epoch which means low frequency divided high frequency percentage power epoch of 120 seconds this is the heart rate variability analysis. As higher as is, is better training. So I can choose and watch whatever I want. And when I will finish, I can close it. At the meantime, I can also go to my software and go to review session. In the review session, I can choose the last session and see the same signals in a different uh, kind of display. This is much uh, different uh, graphs and data, uh, but actually it's the same signals. So uh, this way I can do a training, I can watch the result of the training in both ways, a web page, display graphs or application display signals. And here is the same, I can choose uh, different sensors by clicking on these buttons. And uh, something more is that I, I can export this data to CSV files. And also I can export this training uh, from the DB. When I will click here, it will export files that I can send them to my trainer, for example. If I will click here, it will uh, ask me where, do you, what would, where do, would you like to export the files. And uh, let's go back. And if I would like to import, I can import the same file to the existing database by clicking here and choose the files. Same idea. Um, that's all. Uh, if you have any questions, you can go to our website and send us a message. Okay, let's continue to the next application. This one, BSS, BS Signals. This application is different application, but doing similar job. Reading signals from the hardware, display graphs, 
and save the signals inside CSV files. I will double click on this uh, uh, icon and I will get this technical uh, software. When I will click on Start Monitor, it will communicate with the hardware and start reading signals. I can see here my serial number and a timer. Now I have different options with the check buttons. If I will click on Track BVP, I will see the blood waves from the heart sensor with the heart rate and the blood volume pulse amplitude. And of course, I can see here in real time all the interbit interval data and all the HRV analysis calculation in these places. Also, I can see here the raw data from the sensors. Uh, let's close this and let's go to the second one. The second one is GSR. Of course, I can, uh, you know, I can show both of them, but no, no need. This is the GSR graph. And this one is the respiration belt. You can see the breathing. And uh, this one is blood pressure level changes dynamic blood pressure changes and this is the temperature okay this is the temperature sensor uh, i cannot see in a graphic way the heart rate variability analysis this is some kind of technical support or technical reading or checking the hardware and when i will click on stop it will save all the data inside CSV files. Let's check them. I clicked on stop. I also can close it. And I will go to the folder with the name Biosignals. In inside this folder, we have a, a folder with the name Logs. In the Logs, we can see the date of today folder. Let's go inside. And we can see here a lot of different files bp hag blood pressure B bvp blood volume pulse co2 it's not relevant for your hardware gsr hrv uh, pressure etc it's not relevant respiration yes which means temperature respiration uh hrv gsr bvp bp hag all these files are relevant to the hardware that you bought it depends on the hardware. Maybe you bought the big one. Let's go one by one. GSI, I will double click on this. This is the Excel file. And we can see in the Excel file two columns. The left one is the timer. We can see 60 rows per second. The speed of the reading of the signal is 60 per second. So the left uh, uh, column is the timer and the right column is the signal data. This is the data from the GSR. If I will, let's say, take it and go to insert uh, and will go to this uh, kind of graphs, I will be able in a normal, if it's normal, this, this one is not, I will see the graphs of the data. Let's go to the other files. HRV, it's different file because it's not 60 rows per second. Each row, each new row is new heart rate. So if during the training you have 200 heart rates, you will have only 200 rows. And here we can see all the details of the interbit interval blood volume wave and also all the HRV analysis columns. Uh, you can check online what the meaning of each one of these parameters. If you need to do any kind of research, you, you can contact us and we will give you the details. So this is all about the BSS uh, program. Now let's go to the third application, the yellow circle icon application with the name biosignals this application will allow me to do 
local training while transmitting all the signals and the analysis to the cloud. Uh, I will double click on this icon and then I will get very small window to type in my email address and my password as registered as my credentials in the cloud. When I will click on login, it will start to transmit data to the uh, cloud while blinking between green to blue circle down here, which means transmission. And I can go again to the same button, click on the English version and choose re the correct training. The only difference between this one is that this one also transmits data to the server. That's the only difference. Uh, okay. So, uh, this is a very easy way to save all the information in the cloud while helping your, uh, in from your notes. customer your or if the out. customer need your help and you can both watch your on your training the via a web report. Uh, this is your training report. Okay, uh, this uh, software will stop automatically for, uh, after uh, 10 minutes. I will stop it manually. And the mission that's all. is not to breathe deep. So, we finished, we finished finish explaining all these three applications. The last one is up for 